You know it's a game that I've like slept on for years. It's been out since like 2015 and I've had it for freaking years. It's running with rifles. Running with Rifles is a top-down, open-world, tactical shooter game with open RPG elements. So basically, you join the game as a common soldier and fight a war on the side of like the greens, the browns, or the greys, which are like the different factions. Uh, you basically go around and take, you know, territory or ground against that enemy faction. There's multiplayer game modes from single-player, co-op, I think there's PvP, I never checked out that. And a few other game modes that I've yet to explore, like even the zombie mode, and I tried that out for like five minutes, and it's it's hard. I died a lot. Uh, there's even you know 32 player modes where you know obviously it's 32 players versus AI, and it's super fun. And surprisingly, for this game coming out in uh, 2015, there's still a pretty active community. Like you can go on right now and find co-op 32 player matches and just join in and freaking have a blast yeah i don't know why i've slept on this game for so long like i was just going through my steam library i was like oh i forgot about this game let's check it out and whoo boy is this game fun so like the single player mode is great like there's plenty to do in single player you don't even need to play with anybody the the ai is it's ai but it's actually pretty well polished in this game like from driving and fighting they're they're pretty smart and you can you know you can control the ai and give commands and blah 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 um but really like where this game shines for me is the 32 player co-op it's great and like you know with single player you kind of just like whatever i killed my friendlings but in obviously the 32 player co-op you want to kind of pay more attention to who you are directing your fire towards you don't want to accidentally kill your teammates because you don't want to piss off people you're playing with because they might come back and kill you but you know it happens friendly fire it happens but uh yeah so the 32 player mode is great uh, the game also, you know, incorporates vehicles of all sorts, from like ATVs, boats, BTRs, Jeeps, tanks. I'm sure there's more that I haven't even seen yet. And uh, multiple different weapon systems you can use. Uh, gear and the amount of gear you carry in this game can impact your movement. So like, the more gear you have in your inventory, or inventory, oh my god, words, uh, the slower you move. You know, it makes sense. And the distance in which you engage enemies can determine your accuracy. So, like, you know, your dude's like 100, 200 meters this way, and you just have a freaking AK. You're shooting at them, but the rounds are just flying past them here and there, here and there. So it's like, you gotta, like, sometimes pick your shots better or move in closer. Unless, like, you have a sniper rifle, then, you know, it's a sniper rifle, so your accuracy is already, like, 10 times better. Uh, the progression system, you rank up with experience points. And with this, you unlock better equipment as you rank up. So, like, you'll go from private to corporal to blah, 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 blah. And the higher rank you get, the more weapons and gear you are able to obtain and utilize. Thus making you, you know, more useful. It's honestly hard to say anything negative about this game. It's just like, this is good fun. It's one of those games where you could just launch, have some good fun quickly, and bounce out you know and the co-op like i said is super fun and the game's only 14.99 us usd us you know dollar bills and i'd say it's worth the price for the amount of content and fun you can get out of this game uh, and you know i also forgot to mention that there's uh also two dlcs like the pacific and edel edelwes or the western front basically so uh, they're world war world war ii versions of the game which I have yet to try, but I'm going to because I like anything World War II game wise. So, yeah. And they're still dropping updates. Our last update was in uh, December of 2021. So, not too long ago. So, the devs are still actively updating the game. And also, if you're unsure if you want to play this game or if it's for you, they have a demo that you can download and try it out. So, like, it's a win win. You don't like the demo? Don't get the freaking game. But if you're into like games like this, like me, you'll probably like it. Okay, bye. Fucking like and subscribe.